Imagine using the vanilla Android OS on your laptop just like your smartphone. Yes, this is a full-fledged Android OS for PC which runs super smooth and is also crazy fast. The Bliss OS 16 is based on Android 13. Yes, it is old but also quite stable. You can swipe right to access the Google Discover page just like your phone. Super smooth scrolling indeed. And of course, the full Google Play Store support to access millions of Android apps and games within few clicks. However, if you go to the settings and about section, you'll notice the device isn't certified. But that's because it comes rooted by default and there's actually good reason for that, as some of these apps need that to operate, especially the XT Mapper key mapping tool, which I'll talk about in a minute. You should also enable this taskbar which provides a very PC-like experience like this app launcher but don't set it as default to avoid issues. This way you can access the apps in a window format that makes it easy to juggle between them. You can even have all of them opened up at the same time which is pretty cool. Another must-have setting to enable is in this set orientation app. Make sure to keep it as landscape otherwise some app will open up in portrait mode and it's a pain getting back to landscape. So you have been warned. Additionally, this way, even games like Survey Surfers run in landscape mode and honestly, it's a great experience. But not here as my controls aren't working and this is where XT Mapper comes in clutch. So this app requires root to make sure to give the permission beforehand. Then just click on this auto activate and it's going to run the commands and start the service automatically. Also, remember to use the plus icon to add your games to the list and for XT Mapper to work correctly. Now you can see the keyboard controls are working great here. Now to edit the key mapping, swipe down and select the key mapper service. You can use your trackpad to select if the mouse isn't responsive. Now here we can add controls of our choice even touch swipe gestures, just assign a keyboard button and save it. Now remember to stop the key mapper service after exiting the game as it causes some lagginess to the mouse controls in your usage. Some games like Asphalt 8 works by default with keyboard controls and even Xbox controllers like I'm using right now. We can easily navigate using the controller without issues. You can see the gaming experience is as good as your phone if not even better due to the bigger screen. However, I've tried BGMI and Free Fire and they aren't working for some reason. Now coming to essential features, Wi-Fi is working without issues. Bluetooth is also fine as I have my controller connected. Coming to display settings, we have dark mode support and this is how it looks. We also have the full theming support with various colors from the wallpaper. All of them work and look very nice. There's also themed icons, but they are only on the home screen. Here are the two pre-installed wallpapers in Bliss OS style. Sound and speakers are also working fine with no issues. Now in Blissify menu, we get more deeper customizations. In miscellaneous, we can force higher FPS in games, proof device, to use Netflix and also enable this option to force register your mouse click as touch. In theme, we have some advanced color engine options to change how the colors look overall. These are small and honestly not that noticeable changes. These icon packs here are actually for your status bar icons and this is how they look. Or we can just change the individual Wi-Fi icon to one of these. Next is the icon shape for the home screen and app drawer. Let's try this Corkle one to get the one UI feel. Next in the status bar, we get options related to battery icons and percentage. I've enabled the color icons, network traffic indicator, and Wi-Fi type icon as there's a lot of empty space up there. For quick settings, we can adjust the brightness slider position from top to bottom and also its look. Like this thin variant, which actually doesn't look that nice. For lock screen, we get some interesting settings like this media art blur or the lock screen clock styles. You can select among these clock styles. You can also enable the lock screen pulse visualizer for music. And this is how the clock and visualizer look 
I think it's not too bad. In the app settings, we even have parallel space here to create dual or clone apps. Yes, it is a very helpful feature indeed. You can choose between all these apps. Let's select YouTube for example. And just like that, we have a second YouTube ready to go. I think it's pretty cool. Coming to the rest of the features, they are just your common and wide smartphone settings. I'm sure you get the idea at this point. So you can run apps like Google Gemini and it works perfectly fine for queries or image generation. Video editing apps like KindMaster works and look better than phone, much more space to work with and also precision control with the mouse. The export options are capped to Full HD which is a little bummer. For photo editing, we can use Snapseed or Lightroom and it's actually pretty cool using it on a bigger screen with mouse for precision controls. For all the social media level, Instagram is fully working with no crashes so far and continue your real scrolling here too. For OTT streaming, Netflix or Geostar are also fully operational. You can use WhatsApp but only in the companion mode but it's still a standalone app instead of just a web app. For web browsing, we have the Chrome browser and also remember to check the description to learn about installing BlitzOS on your laptop. Anyways, the browser isn't as advanced as says Windows or Linux as there is no instruction support but it works for daily browsing need. Also remember to use local send to easily send and receive files between your devices. So that was in my opinion the best pixel lag and what experience on your laptop. I know we have Chrome OS or Fire OS which I think is still the best Android OS. But Bliss OS is just more fun and it's like using a smartphone on tablet which is what appeals to me the best. Remember to download this specific Bliss OS version to avoid any issues. Let me know your questions and thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.